Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here on S3, where we love people making a massive difference. Now, according to the World Bank, over 30 million South Africans are experiencing food poverty right now. The fact that millions of families are living hand to mouth and are forced to compromise on the nutrition of their meals so that they don't starve is a tragedy. And the thing is, we need more people to, to make a difference. Completely. And it's a lot easier than you think to connect the dots. We just have to do it. So Garden Root Food Pantry is an NGO that has developed a new product called the Food Sock. Sounds cool. It is cool. It's a variety of uh, nu nutritiously sound meals being offered at an affordable price to help keep hunger at bay for those under financial stress. I know I'm massively oversimplifying what's going on here, oh, yeah. uh, but I think Carl van Black, the CEO and founder of Food Sock Meals, can explain a little bit more. We are impassioned, my friend, oh, and yeah. I have a feeling we are going to be ablaze by the end of the day. So welcome. Thank you so much for coming Thank to share, you share your time with us. Great to be here. Thank you. Well, let's look at that stat. I'm yes. sure that was the thing that got you started out. I feel like that stat was the best catalyst with regard to the way you have been, you know, just looking at the, the entire food security situation. Yeah. Also in preparation for this, with regard to the um, food socks, Carl actually sent me a food sock, by the way. Oh, really? <laughs> and? And, and it is easy. You don't need a lot of ingredients. In fact, everything is in the food sock. And it's filling, it's nutritional, and it's high quality. And I'm yes. just, I'm very impressed. So, thank you. congratulations. Thank you. But how did this start? You know what, those statistics are, f are fascinating, as you say, and, and I think what we don't need, what we don't realize, what we need to understand is that food security is probably the biggest global catastrophe that we've got at the moment. Yeah. It's the pandemic. It, it really is. <laughs> yeah. and, and unfortunately, it's also the most difficult one to handle. You know, if somebody hasn't got clothes today, you can give them clothes, they, they're clothed for the next year. Yes. You give them food today, you need to give them food tomorrow. So it's also ah. the most difficult, and I think people tend to steer a little bit away of food security. For whatever reason, I still don't know to this very day, but I run towards it. I've always had an absolute passion for food security. So yes, uh, the Garden Root Food Pantry is a food bank in George that I started. Um, and I want to add to that statistic. Do, we, do you know that about half of South Africans are currently taking out loans and borrowing money just to eat for the eat. remainder of the month? Yeah. It's, it's bizarre. And, and that baseline is yeah. a lot higher up in our society than you think it is. It is. Which makes me think that those previously disenfranchised, disadvantaged, disconnected communities are forgotten now. Yes. They absolutely. are completely disconnected. Yeah. Uh, we speak about this notion of food security like it's the easiest dot to, to connect mm. together. Mm. Yet it's very difficult for big companies to produce yeah. food to get that food to the communities. There are a number of hoops that they have to jump through. It's actually not that easy to do this despite the abundance and despite the desperation. Mm. So what was the tipping point for you? I know it's something you want to run towards, but you've mm. clearly made this work. Yeah. And in a, not just a, a handout kind of a way, but this is a business that needs to thrive within that NGO yeah. space, but you still need to thrive. What has yeah. been the click? What is making this work? You know what? I I think for me, I've also, a passion for me is dignity. You know, I, yes. I, I think everybody needs to be treated with dignity. It doesn't matter where you are in society. And that can actually not just necessarily be the poorest of the poor that we deal with and have done with for, for decades, but we've got this move, the shift in society. And, and as much as I don't like the term, but let's talk about middle class society. Yeah. Middle class yeah. society is shifting. And, and dramatically into this poverty sphere. And we're talking about a massive amount of people that don't know how to ask for help. Yeah. They, they're not used to it, they, they, they suffer in silence, they eat ramen noodles for half the month because it's all they can afford. Yeah. And, and for me, I've got, I've got two mottos that I live by. Um, the one is very simply, and, and this is probably my key one, um, when a lot of people look at food security, they don't touch it because it's so big. But for me, I may not be able to change the world but I can change someone's world. Next door. Next exactly. door, I can help them. And the yeah. interesting thing is, if we all do that, we do change the world. We end up changing the world. That's the first thing. And the other is, uh, I'm part of the Lions Club International Organization oh, as well. And we've got a motto, we serve. And, and service is the rent that we pay for the space we occupy on the earth. I've always lived by that. Everything I've done my whole life has been in service to others. But it has enriched and fulfilled my life like you wouldn't believe. And clearly um, you are thriving. I, I, I love it, yeah. yeah. 
And uh, the other thing that we do with the food stock, which I think is also a key factor, is we, we need to get away from the notion of always giving people free food. Yeah. Uh, it's not dignified, and a lot of people don't want it for free. They just want it to be affordable. To be able to afford it. I want my little bit of money that's left over after I've paid the car and the house and yes, the whatever yes. else is to be able to put food on the table. And that's the approach that I took with the food stock, which makes it not only dignified, but it makes it available for everybody, the whole country. It doesn't matter whether you're a doctor that's come home from work and you've only got a half an hour left and the power's going to go off. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, you had to bring that in, eh? Oh, you had to, yeah. <laughs> that's it, eh? When it comes to poverty, it's about time we put a sock in it. So, there we go. <laughs> let's talk about the actual food sock yes. and its future and yes. where you see uh, the, the need obviously, and the needs that perhaps anybody watching could contribute and jump in and perhaps, you know, franchise this, so to speak, in their mm. own areas across South Africa. I feel like it's so important for us to yes. make sure that our giving becomes viral. So yeah. for you, let's look at the details of the food stock, what's in there, mm. how many people does it feed, and then moving forward, the type of support you require to make sure that this is sustainable. Stunning. So, so we've got nine different flavours, and they're ranging from really nice traditional South African home-cooked meals. It's things like chicken biryani, tomato breedy, mutton stew, mac and cheese. We even have milkos. Uh, oh, I went to boarding so, school, yeah, oh, for too. sure. That's yeah. Why, that's why I came um, so we've got nine different flavours that we put out there. We're constantly developing more. And the idea behind every single one of them is the same. You need nothing else but what's in that food. So yes. it's got its flavours, its salt, its pasta, it, whatever needs to be in there is already in there. You need a pot, water and a source of heat. That's it. So the concept is simple. It takes 20 minutes to 30 minutes roughly to cook. So again, you've minimal amount of time, it's efficient, and each sock feeds four to six people. The reason we say four to six is four adult portions. So you could have a family of mom and dad and three kids, it's enough. Sure. Or for a little a school or a creche, you can actually feed a lot more. Um, and the idea behind getting this out to people affordably, because for 45 rand, for 45 rand, you can feed a family of four to six a meal. Everything contained in one bag. Yes. But now when we launched this, we suddenly had requests from people around the country saying, well, I live in Kuruman or in the Limpopo province, mm -hmm. and how do I get this? And we don't want the cost to be, become a problem. So the distribution network was critical. And what we did there is we invited people to become distributors or resellers, we call them. They sign up as a reseller. There's no, there's no obligations other than just buying their first amount of stock. We give it to them at a ridiculously low price. I mean, it's almost half the price. And then they have the, the benefit of going out and reselling it in their community, uplifting themselves, their family. I can't tell you the amount of emails I get from dads, from men especially, who have now been able to support their family. Women as well, obviously, but I, I, I don't know. I've, as a guy, I have a passion for that. Yes, for sure. And at the same time, they're helping their local community. They're getting it out to, to people around them, and they're starting to benefit from the emails and the messages of people sending and saying, you've changed my life. Can I, can I throw something out here? Because yeah. this feels like an inversion, and I think COVID, you've, you've heard me use the word inversion about every yes. day, since the, the value that is in this connection to these communities, to these informal economies yes. that are existent around, it almost feels like this should be out of the NGO space, out of the MP. You are investing in a future market that won't exist unless we prop it up and yes. feed these children yeah. and empower these salesmen to go out and create things. Do you feel like... This is kind of a coming of age for your organization. This is a product. I feel like I'm yeah. speaking about a commercially viable product, yes. not a handout. This is a change. I'm 100% in agreement with you, which is why we've got a cost to it. Now, what we do is we, we sell the product because, again, the dignity, it's a product. It's got to be affordable. It's and got it's all sustainable those... that way. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, it's not sustainable. You've got to rely on somebody. Somebody pays for it. When you give something for free, somebody's paying for it. Yeah. So what we do, though, is there are definitely scenarios where there are needs for free handouts. Yes. But this is like disaster relief. I had, a, yeah. I had somebody, a family recently up in the northwest province. Their house blew up. Literally, a gas cylinder in their home uh, exploded. Oh, no. And these are people that didn't have much. We're talking about a family that were barely surviving. I saw photos. It was drastic. I was able to send them a month's worth of food at a low cost, but the difference it made for them. They actually were staying with friends and they could feed themselves and their friends. For so sure. there's times where we do need to hand out and this is where we look for support from corporate. But then it's from... just, yeah, just redirecting that exactly. lens, like exactly. you say, man. I must say, I, I'm not a firm believer in a food parcel. I say that a little bit tongue in cheek, a little bit hesitantly, but if you take a traditional food parcel, six to 800 rand, you pack it out. 
how much food, how much, how many meals can you realistically really make yeah. out of that? And is it nutritionally sound? Does it have everything that needs to be in there for a family to? It's not about feeding the stomach. It's a, it's or, not or a, pressing it's a, the dopamine button exactly, so that you feel like exactly. you're eating. Yeah, food sucks. For the same price, I can feed somebody for almost a whole month, and it's nutritional. It's quick. It's easy. As all the benefits. Go and list this thing on the stock exchange. Let's change it. <laughs> Let's change the whole business model. It's just <laughs> no, absolutely business amazing. Partners, you? <laughs> um, incredible. Yeah. Thank you so much for what you yes. do every day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Absolute, absolute. Calls are good I'm, people, I'm, eh? You know what? Yeah. That's, it proves that calls are, are the best, the best <laughs> people. Uh, Call with Fun Blad, thank you so much. Foodsock.co.za, an incredible opportunity for you to get involved with the community. So make sure you go check that out and feed the nation. This is maybe a little bit hungry, actually. Good.